Hey YouTube world, what's going on? Mark here from TST Industries back in the garage with another installation video. And as you can see in front of me, I have a full suite of products. And behind me, I have a 2019 model Yamaha Tracer 900. All the products on this table are all the crash protection products we have provided by Womet Tech to cover the 2018 to 2020 model Yamaha Tracer 900. So if you have a Tracer 9GT, which would be 2020 and up, 2021 and up, be sure to check that out. It's a little different. Some of the products may be different. But in short, let's cover over everything. That way, if you're watching a video for say spool sliders, you understand that yes, we do have frame sliders as well. So starting on the right-hand side, we do have spool sliders. We also have spools. These are a much smaller piece made out of aluminum. Going back to the right, we have our single point frame sliders. Coming over to the left, however, we have our dual point EVOS frame sliders. These are a two point system with a much larger Delrin slider. Coming back to the right one last time, we have our engine slider. This is a Delrin cap meant to replace the OEM cap on the left side case. And lastly, on the left hand side, we have our front fork sliders. These are two Delrin pucks with an aluminum rod that installs in minutes on the front wheel. And in this video, we will be installing the Womatex spool sliders. Hey guys, it's Ben from TST. Today I'm gonna to show you how to install our spool sliders on the Tracer 900. Very simple process. All we're gonna need for this is a torque wrench and a five mil Allen key T handle, whatever you've got. So it's pretty simple. Once you unbox this, you're gonna have a little baggie of hardware that'll include two bolts and two washers. All we'll do is we'll drop the washer down the barrel on the outer part of the spool, follow that up with the bolt. And now on the swing arm here, you'll see one receptacle basically for this bolt. And we will just hand tighten those in there. If you notice any sort of resistance or anything like that, back it out, make sure your threads are clean. You do not want to cross thread or cause yourself any issues there. Once that's bottomed out, we'll switch over to our torque wrench. This is gonna be eight foot pounds or 96 inch pounds. So we'll just torque that down. All right, once we got that click, we're all set. And now we're gonna repeat all these steps on the opposite side. Same location, same everything. All right, and with that, your installation is complete and you're now ready to ride. All right, and I wanna give a special thanks to Ben for helping me with this installation. We are trying to bring on some fresh faces onto our YouTube channel. So if you like seeing Ben do an installation, he is a familiar voice. Give us a thumbs up, leave a comment in the comment field below, let us know your thoughts. But as you see, now we have a lift point on the rear of the bike, and we also have a little bit of added protection that is meant to help minimize damage taken on in the events of a crash. So if you like this product, you wanna check it out, or any other product we may have for this bike or any other bike sitting in your garage, be sure to stop by our website, tstindustries.com. The link to this particular product is in the description below. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, leave them in the comment field below. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn the notification bell on. And lastly, stop by our social media pages, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all username TST Industries. This has been Mark and Ben from TST Industries. Catch you guys next time.